I finally hit level 44, man. Those 30 battles in the Master League would have killed me had I not had the homie to help me out. So shout out to that cheese, the homie Luis, for helping me out today and getting that knocked out out of the way. I don't know what these four uh, research tasks for 45 were, but I guess I knocked out one of them already. I'll go back and see uh, what it was for that. Now, I got to defeat 100 Team Go Rocket Grunts, purify 100 Shadow Pokemon, which luckily for y'all and for me, I got about... I don't know, probably 600 shadow Pokemon uh, that I can purify. I'm not going to purify any legendaries or my Mewtwo because that would just be cut, like an insane amount of Stardust. I have like s almost six and a half million Stardust, which I'm going to be sad I got to spend, but... It's all right. I'll probably I'm I'm going to get way more stardust uh, after I knock these uh, requirements tasks out of the way and then defeat a team go rocket leader 50 times which if you defeat 100 grunts 6 and 100 is like uh a little more than 10. So that'll only get me in reality, I'll have to probably defeat like 500 Rocket Grunts to even make it to 50 Rocket Leaders. And I don't think I'm going to be purchasing any Rocket Radars because that's just... I don't know. I don't like taking shortcuts, bro. Like, I'm probably... Like, I, I, I'm, I am going to want to go hard to get the Leaders... But I want to play it straight, man. I don't want to buy my way to victory. I want to earn it, even if uh, it takes me over the XP that I need, or even if it takes me into the 45 XP bracket. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out what this last task was, bro, because I automatically got it. So it must be something that I, I had already acquired going into the level. But I'm going to record... Everything that I'm going to do to get a 45 for y'all. So stay tuned. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Big Serves, back at it with another Pokemon Go video. And today, today, we are doing a very, very special episode. We are purifying 100 Pokemon, Shadow Pokemon, for my road to level 45 research. Uh, I don't know what the last one was, but I got it already off the top when I leveled up. But honestly, the hardest thing is defeating a Go Rocket leader 50 times, which I've already got nine of them. So it's just been easier because I've been buying Rocket Radars. And I, w I said I wasn't going to do that. But honestly, since Shadow Bagging is out, I don't know when's the next time they're going to do Shadow Bagging. So I'm going to at least try to get as much shadow bagging as I can, either through beating the grunts or purchasing rocket radars. I don't know how I'm going to do it specifically yet, but just for the sake of this video, we're just going to do 100 shadow Pokemon. And in that process, we're going to see how many shadow bagging we acquire. But let's just see what it is, guys. Uh, I know for a fact, Puccina... Magikarp, uh, Weedle, all the shadow forms are a thousand stardust. So if we could go by name, and Abra I would assume is five thousand. Okay, okay, three thousand. So I have six million seven hundred and eighty thousand nine hundred and ninety-six uh stardust at this point, and I'm prepared to lose like two two million. So if we if we go down to like 4,780. That's fine with me. I have the Stardust for uh, this is what this is literally since uh I've always saved my Stardust. Like I, I always I never knew when I first started playing what Stardust would really be needed for, 
But honestly, you only need them for two things. Purifying Shadow Pokemon, or actually three. Purifying Shadow Pokemon, trades, and powering up Pokemon. That's literally what you're going to be using it for. And the game gives you a whole bunch of chances to get rack up stardust such as the community days they'll have certain events where they'll have bonus stardust if you spin gyms especially ones you control you get bonus stardust and uh just uh uh what is it getting um opening presents or, or gifts not presents gifts and catching pokemon is how you could get stardust and then um the spotlight hours, sometimes they have two times catch stardust. Aaron is 1,000. Oh, okay, see, I didn't know that, Aaron. Got a few Aaron's. Got a few Baggins already. All of them are pretty trash IVs. I really want that shiny, which uh, is going to be really hard. It's a 1 in 60 chance. And I guess if you... Or one in sixty something chances, I think, and and I guess if you if you do get sixty seven sixty something shadow baggins, you're supposed to get at least one shiny in theory. But honestly, some of my homies said that's not the case, so I wouldn't take my word for it all the way. I have literally nine hundred and forty four. I almost have a thousand shadow Pokemon, guys. I've saved a bunch of Stardust and shadow Pokemon to do this specific task what is this it's a spinner rack. don't need it um but i wouldn't purify any legendaries especially like mute like don't never shadow purify shadow mewtwo i don't know why i know i have a friend who purified his shadow mewtwo and i just think that's a huge mistake because even the worst shadow mewtwo is probably best better than the best hundo mewtwo uh from what i understand shadow mewtwo is literally the most op pokemon in the game i have a bunch of pol uh polywag psyduck i have a few ross i have a few sableye i know i got a whole i might have more shadow skaroopy than anything look at that guys that's holy holy moly that's that's a whole lot, a whole bunch of uh, Shadow Snorlax, a whole bunch of Snubble, a whole bunch of Feel. I honestly think, uh, what is it? Whatever I just said was the most. It's kind of late, late at night, so I'm kind of tired. I'm really proud of this. I only have two shiny shadows, guys. Venonat and my boy Pinsir. I have a bunch of Voltor, Volpix, and yeah, I think I'm going to shadow, purify shadow the first one, the first one I'm going to purif uh, purify for everybody, because I'm not going to show everyone I'm going to purify, I'm just going to purify one, or maybe a few, and this defense is all the way up, maybe I'll do this one too, um... I want to do Wobbuffet, first of all, just because Wobbuffet is a super good gym defender and purifying it will um, take the 20% decrease in defense off. As a matter of fact, I am. Boom. So I'm going to purify my Shadow Wobbuffet, the very first one for you guys. And I'm going to put this as part of my gym defenders. And this used to take like 10 minutes, bro. Literally, the the uh, the time it would take... I have to put this on the TM. The time it would take to see the whole thing, like the whole purification process, literally took like a Loiter Squad episode. It took super long. And I'm just glad we could get this going already. Where'd it go? Do y'all see where it went? What the hell? It just disappeared. Oh, because I have the shadow tag on it. Okay. All right. And Zubat, I know for sure, is 1,000. Yeah. So I think I'm going to purify all my, all my 1,000 first, and then we could get another 3,000. But I'm just going to check real quick what else I'd want to purify for y'all right here. And then 
I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll purify a whole bunch, film it, and then do the fast forward thing. Um, but I think as far as gym defenders or, or attackers go, I think I don't really need anything. Snorlax, maybe. But Snorlax isn't the best option. Like, if you have a Blissey, it'd be a lot better. I could purify that one. Does it tell you what it'll go up to if you purify? Nope. Let's see. Mm, I want the attack and defense. I just I don't want just the defense. When you go for gems, guys, you kind of want to get the defense and the attack high unless you know your Pokemon's going to be really like not good in the gym, such as maybe um like what will go down easy. I don't know. The best gym defenders could be good attackers. Like Blissey, you definitely want a good defense and uh, attack IV. But honestly, Hippodon is, is another one. Let me look for uh, Hippodon. Because that's a really... You know, I, I, just, I just battled one right now and it was a super pain in the ass, bro. Like it just... I don't know why Hippodon is super super strong the defense is super high it's definitely ooh. this is my 94 actually i want to keep this one for little cup and maybe let's see if i could evolve it and then purify it for y'all so it'll jump up to a thousand that's good the lower the lower the the cp the better the better it'll be I said I was going to evolve this one. Yeah, okay. Let's see which one has a better stat. 13 or 14. Hmm, that doesn't leave much room. Yeah, I'll, I'll evolve this one and I'll purify it. And I'll use it in the gym. But yeah, man. Follow your boy, Big Serves. We on the road to 45, baby. Yeah, for some reason, it kind of goes a little faster, whereas before it was like... Like, I don't know why it took so long. Like, I don't understand what they're doing. I wonder if anything changes, but like, I wonder if the CP kicks up or down. When you pur purify it. Does anyone remember what CP? Oh, shit, it does. Oh, man, the CP went all the way up. Damn, I didn't think it was going to do that. Okay, and it went it went from like a, it went from like an 11, 14 to a 12, 15. So I didn't think it was going to do that. That's crazy. Everybody, everybody who's like an experienced Pogo player is like, this dude doesn't even know what he's talking about. I don't. You know why? Because I'm not spending all day purifying Pokemon and doing all that good jazz. Okay, this is good. 604. I think it was at like a 100 or something. This will murder any any physical, I mean any physical, any uh, fighting types out there. And uh, uh, what is it? Psychics with the uh, I need Miracle though, not Miracle, but uh, what's the like dazzling gleam or something like that? A fairy, fairy charge move, but yeah, man, two down, 98 to go. Big serves, baby.
And they, they really, DNA they really, like, if we being totally, 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 and put on the shelf. Like he's like somebody you can call out, like, yo. You know for sure he's gonna do these both reviews, have him in front of some kids that are goddamn <laughs> in school and he gonna do exactly what he's supposed to do for the kids to enjoy it. Put him on ESPN, he gonna do what they do for the sports fans to put him on BET, the industry gonna enjoy it. put him on URL, they gonna enjoy it. put him on Kingdom, like he you can plug him in anywhere. Tip like battle rapper, like battle rapper, but yeah, he's like the prototype, like the, what you would expect if you just had a video game. It was like battle rap. DNA? Yeah, it was like that. DNA? Thanks for the Starbucks. Yeah, I said thanks for the Starbucks. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I was going to tell you. Tomorrow, if you get a chance, you can get the license. Oh, yeah, because America Tires ain't open. Is that every one? Every American tire is the same thing. Uh-huh. All right. Second set, I just filled up Mom's car. Uh-huh. Mom's going to need an all the things, so I'm going to need you to take Mom's car to maybe Wednesday. Or I'll make it Are we going to switch cars or something? Yeah. But they open early. What time do you want to do it? Hmm? Huh? When is it open? They open like at 7. Mm. But I was thinking I'm going to call tomorrow and get a for the other one. So, what's the best time for you? Well, I want to go. Do it um, huh? when they open. So the earlier the better. Yeah, I don't want to be there all fucking day. So okay, so seven o'clock. If they can do it at seven, I'll go at seven.
that's a good one. The thing about Ted is he's just a bad rapper. You know what I mean? Yeah. For whatever reason, I think he's phenomenal. He's always been like one of my favorites. So, you know, rather than him and with him and having each other, it's just a The dude in the red, he's from Pacoima. That's where Danny trails from. You acting like that. Such a beautiful boy.
Wow. When did he say this? In 2017, it only took two years before Geechee destroyed everything. Wow. Vince Carter. That king right there. Look at that little boy. Love you so much. Such a beautiful fucking little game right there.
acting like that. I love James. That thing right there. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh. It was a shit. Bam, bam, bam.
Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. In late Nicaragua, mm -hmm. they were allowed to walk there for a while before getting back in the bus and going back to the next stop. Mm -hmm. So here, so 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 right. yeah, but we're driving by all these. Uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. <laughs> breakfast. You want to do it? Like I said, I don't care. Good point. So here's what she's telling me. This is good because it takes us all the way to Granada, mija, in Lake Nicaragua, and and, and we're gonna go to the uh, Masaya National Park in Masaya, Masaya Nicaragua. It's even a boat ride, a one hour boat ride in Lake Nicaragua. Well, let's do it. I mean, I think we're going to You're the one that's going to watch the honey song. But here's, a, here's the thing uh -huh. this is the lady telling me. She says, Hi, please. Here's the link. Mute that? Mute that? You guys try to tell us something. <laughs> Here's the link of the tour. Keep in mind, it leaves really early, and the entry to Nicaragua requires a negative COVID test. So we would have to get tested when we get to the hotel. When we get to the hotel uh, it, within 72 hours. And she's telling me you can click and book on this link for this tour because they will update you on your phone and they will contact you for pickup information. So she's recommending for me to book instead of her booking for us. Phone mm. call to her tomorrow. And, uh, I would just ask how's the safety? That's the thing with me. She put down my other clients had a great trip on this one and spoke very highly of the tour company. Okay. Well, it's on you. I want to let you make the next You guys are going to Nicaragua? We're going to Costa Rica. When? Uh, March 26th. We fly out March 26th and we fly back in April 30th. So is that like a week? Hmm? Is that like a week? Yeah, that's, um, let's see here. A week and a day? We fly out March 26th. Which is a Saturday. Sure, Saturday. And we fly back in on a Sunday. So we're going to need you to drop us off and pick us up so on a Saturday. Maybe Saturday night. And then on a, which is March 26th is a Saturday. Maybe Saturday night. And April 3rd is a Sunday. to go to Nicaragua to this is called Granada, Nicaragua it's on Lake Nicaragua so they nicknamed the grenade after Grenada like a pomegranate that's the name of the city Granada well, I know, but I'm just saying that they na they named the grenade. The name of the grenade comes from the fruit, cause the way it's shaped. Cause the fruit came before the fucking grenade, but they made a grenade. Probably, yeah, that's probably what it's the the thinking behind it. Yeah. Because, you know, cancer, 
the the zodiac sign Cancer comes from the crab, because that's Latin. I think they're all Latin words. All the zodiac signs are Latin words. And um. And cancer cells, when you look through a microscope, they're the shape of they look like crabs. Yeah. Yeah. Drop. I dropped some some knowledge on on your grandpa, but on your grandpappy. Grandpappy, grandpappy. Yeah. So we're leaving on Saturday, March twenty sixth. Right? So we we'll leave Saturday night. Come back Sunday night. What time? Saturday night we leave almost at midnight. Wow. Just drop us off around. 11. No, drop us off around. 11. 9. Mm. At 9 or leave 9? So I get there at 9. The rate is 9 30. So I have to leave at 8. Costa Rica trip is booked. Like I said, I'm just trying to get the um, get a Nicaragua tour set up.
much jewelry is trending, get fresh groceries delivered free. Chop, chop. Nailed it. Fresh groceries in here. Get, out of here. get the fuck out of here.
Like, so in my when I write, or you know, and most people I talk to when, when they write guys, they want to end on the biggest pain. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But Paolo doesn't do that. Uh, it's like a, a come down. It's like the like last block or two after a jog. Like you kind of ah, let it breathe and then all right, go. And that's what he did right there, which I used to be like, ah, it's not. Why, why, why wouldn't you end on the Kit Kat or the biggest punch? But it makes sense if you look at like a hierarchy, like a story. You know what I mean? Like, like how, how do you start it? Right? You don't come out with your biggest punch. So, you know, so then it's like, all right, come back. And I never thought in that way prior to this moment seeing it and being like, oh shit, that actually makes sense. I should be more like, We finally made it. We finally made it to the end. The hundredth shadow Pokemon I'm gonna purify is Magikarp. And let's see where we go. A hundred, a hundo. Let's see what happens, yo. I should have put that sound effects on, so it would have been a lot more thrilling. Maybe I'll put the set. Suspenseful music, but this thing kicked up way higher than I thought it would. And boom, 1515, baby. Definitely gonna put this in the gym defenders list. But yeah, the road to level 45. I think I was at six million, like seven hundred, and like almost almost six hundred six million seven hundred and 80,000, I think. Well, we had 6,575 Stardust, 1,000 Stardust. That means I basically spent 200,000 Stardust just purifying my Pokemon. A lot of them were like 1,000. I tried to do all the 1,000 Stardust Pokemon that I could. But obviously, I, had a, I didn't have enough, so I had to do the 3,000, which took a whole bunch of Stardust away. Um, but this was, this is honestly why I saved all my shadow Pokemon. And I think I had almost like a thousand and now I only purified like a hundred of them. So I still have 852. That's still a lot. I'm going to transfer like pretty much most of these, if not 95% of these, because that's a lot, man. To purify all these will easily take me. At least two, at least two million stardust. I don't know. I I don't know about the math, but obviously some are five thousand. That could like yeah, easy, easily. I could probably spend all my stardust just purifying, which I'm not gonna do. It's a waste. You know, you really don't want to be purifying a bunch of Pokemon unless they're like you could TM the the frustration away and. And and get the IV up to 1515 if you can. But there's really no point in that. You might as well just wait and grind for a Pokemon that you just find in the wild that got good IVs. Instead of trying to purify it and spend the whole process doing it like that. But we got it out of the way. This was very, very nice. A very good journey. We still got to defeat all these grunts and rocket leaders before I hit 45. But that's about it, man. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Game of Serves. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend. Tell your girlfriend for me. And we out.